This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast and still Jamil <laughs> Herring. Uh, Bomac said that was probably the best he's seen you box. Yes. Um, you know, a lot was on the line. You, you, you guys know my, my past. You know my, how my last fight looked. I didn't look the greatest. Um, people counted me out. I came in throughout the whole fight as, as the underdog. But I, I, know, I, I knew what was wrong in the last fight. Like I said, I, I was fighting the pandemic. You know, I was fighting COVID. But I didn't make, it, I didn't make no excuses. I, I, all I knew was I had an opportunity to bounce back and redeem myself. Is that how you expected the fight to go? Um, no, I'm actually surprised. I'm actually kind of a bit surprised because Carl Frampton has never been stopped. He's never been stopped. He's, he's a durable, he's a durable guy. He's a, he's a, he, he, you know, he, he, in my opinion, he's a future Hall of Famer, two divisional world champion. Um, you know, he was shooting for legacy. You know, he, he's done great for for his country. But um, you know, like I said, I, I just wanted it more. I, also, like I said, I, I just wanted it more. Jamal, as soon as the towel was thrown in, I looked at you. You were down on your knees. Um, Head in your hands. What did that mean to you tonight? I meant the world because, like I said, um, everyone knows what I what I what I had to go through just to get to this fight. You know, I, a lot of people were already um, counting me out, was looking at for me to retire and things of that nature. But um, once I once I got back in the gym with my team and we grouped, you know, I found that that hunger and that fire again, and all those emotions just 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 overwhelmed me and. Like I said, I, I still can't express how I feel right now. Mm. Okay, let's talk about the cut. How bad was it? Oh, it, it was bad. I, <laughs> I really could not see out of my right eye. But I've been there before, I, I, you know, in my last fight. And I was determined not to go out the same way. And I, and I know people were probably expecting me just to, you know, as they say, quit or give up. But no, I was determined just to fight on like a true champian and just, just, continue, just give it my all. Mm. Jamie Moore, Nigel Travis, I think showing great compassion towards Carl and making the right decisions to throw the towel in Jamal. Yeah, oh, um, yeah, because uh, he was he was clearly hurt. He was clearly hurt. I seen him from when he took the knee. I seen that his um, eyes were still, you know, glazed. And like I said, he, he's a he, he's a father. He's a husband just like me. You know, I don't want you never want to see anybody go out there and, and and get injured for worse down the line. And you know, his team loves him. You know, and I, and I, and I love him, respect him as well. So you know, they, they did the right thing, and I'm just glad he was able to walk out, you know, and go home to his family. You want to soak this moment up in Dubai, arguably your best win ever. <laughs> yes. But I will ask you, what is next for Jamal Herring? What's next? Um, like I said, um, I was called out by Oscar Valdez. Um, he, I know he was watching. Oscar is, is, is a good individual, is a great human being, um, real great champion. Um, like I said, um, so I'm, some, some expected me was expected to move up, of course, and wait, because I, I felt like I, you know, once I defeated Carl Frampton, I thought I, I, I made my stamp in the super effective division. But you know, at that, at that, if we can do unification for the lineal title, I'll, 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 I'll stay. Okay, that's a, that's a clear message then. And uh, yeah, Carl just announced his retirement in the ring. Your comment on Carl's career and the fight tonight? Um, like I said, I, like I said before, I always been a, um, a fan of Carl Frampton before we even fought. I watched the quick fight. I watched the war with, with, with Warrington, you know, and, and many other fights, you know, with Leo Santa Cruz. I actually was hoping as a fan he would get the third, the trilogy with Leo, with Leo. But that's how much respect I have for Carl Frampton, and it was just an honor to share the ring with him. And you never want to see, in my opinion, a great champion go out like that. But like I said, I'm just, I'm just glad he's okay, and, he, and he's, um, you know, um, like. Like I said, it was it was rough for me as a fan to, 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 to hear the speech and everything. Because like I said, I, I really respect him. But I'm just glad he's okay. That's all I can say. Well, Jamal, I know the UK and Irish fans, if anyone was going to lose, uh, if anyone was going to beat Carl Frampton, they'd want it to be you because you've got so much love from the UK and Irish Thanks. fans. And I, you must have felt that. Oh, yeah, and I respect it. I, and I, res I love the, um, the UK, people of the UK, people of Ireland, Northern Ireland. You know, they, you know, they've been they've been great. Even even the ones that ruled against me, they they were still um, respectful. They mm. were respectful, and they were true. You know, they were true supporters of Frampton, and I, and I see why. I see why because he, he's a great champion. And um, you know, like I said, I, I just want to say thank you to everyone out there in the UK, Ireland. Um, thank you everybody back in the states. And matter of fact, everybody around the world who's <laughs> actually tuning in to watch this fight, it's a great. Uh, thank you all. Well, and still clinical performance, well done. Thank you. And uh, safe flight back to America. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you.